Welcome to this screencast for Vertal. Vertal is an Afrikaans name meaning for language and in this screencast I will show you how you can use Vertal to do some cool localization for your language. If you are new to the world of software localization you might want to start at the help menu and look at the tutorial and the software localization guide that explains quite a few important principles of software translation. Instead we can now open a normal file for the purposes of the screencast. Although I am using the mouse quite a bit during the screencast, Vertal works very well with the keyboard only, and in this and this is the most productive way to use Vertal. Keyboard shortcuts can be found on the menus or by reading the Vertal documentation available from the help menu. I can simply move up and down between these units by pressing control up and control down and let's do that and start translating here at the top of the file the first unit is finished and I'm simply going to press enter to go to the next one here we see an interesting feature of Vertal it is automatically trying to complete the word for me it recognizes that I started to type a word that seems to be this one where that I used before and indeed it is the one I want so I'm going to accept the suggestion by pressing the tab key and there I just saved several characters I didn't need to type this string I need to translate is the name of the program I'm not going to translate that so I simply want to copy it from the English to my language and I can do that easily by pressing ALT down. This string contains our first bit of XML markup. An easy way to translate that is to also use the copying feature to copy the English to the translation. Here I'm simply going to select the part that needs to be translated and then type my translation in instead. Here you can see I can do it again and actually it's a very fast way to do this I could now continue to translate the whole file but rather I would like to show you some interesting features that is available in Vertal as well as you might be used to from word processors Vertal can help you by fixing some obvious spelling and typing mistakes that you might make in Afrikaans there is a typing mistake that's very similar to English so I'll use this in the example if I were to type the word word with W R O D in the in other words the wrong order you can see that it will actually correct it for me automatically if you want to see a bigger example in Afrikaans if I type this letter I'm leaving out two of the letters it's a common spelling mistake and as soon as I press space it actually corrects it for me so now we have already discovered auto completion and autocorrection available in Vertal. If we want to search for specific strings in our translation we can use the search feature here in the navigation area and search for a specific string. Let's say we want to see where the name Vertal is used in this file. Here we can see it uses a search dialog similar to what we are used to from Firefox and we can see that this string is occurring in a few places places perhaps we want to check for consistency of the translation or we might want to do a replace operation that we can easily do as well for advanced users we can also use the regular expression marker to do really powerful searching for specific strings next I will show another interesting feature of Vertal if I were to search for this quotation mark we find this unit that says the file and this variable does not exist now if I were to simply press alt down we get what we expect to see the exact English string but if I were to say that I'm actually translating into French we'll see that Vertal is able to use that information to save the French translator some time and if I do alt down it actually uses the French quotation marks just to save translators that little bit of time. If you would like some customizations like this for your language, 
get into contact with us so that we can extend Fertal to be a really powerful editor for your language. As you can see, Fertal has many interesting features. The last one that I want to demonstrate is the translation memory. You might have already seen Fertal giving some suggestions while I'm translating. Here you can see that if I'm translating something really common like language, it might suggest something either from the current file if I've translated something before or from previous translations I've done that are stored on my local computer or from the translation memory service called opentran.eu where a lot of translations of free software products are kept. And here you can see for something as common as this string I've got lots of suggestions to work with and now since I'm translating into French I might want to pick one of these suggestions and continue with that. If we were to look for something less common like this really message so this message very specific to Vertal, obviously we're not expecting OpenTron or something like that to give us help, but here the autocomplete and other features of Vertal will help us to get the job done really quickly. I hope you can see that Vertal offers some really interesting features for you to be productive in software localization. I hope you will join us in making Fertal as good as it can be.